Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Deontay Burton, host of Change Your Life. Today, I want to give you four steps to take before you embark on repairing your credit or you get yourself in a better financial situation. I know a lot of times people want to rush and have a hit a switch and everything changes, but I just want to let you guys know it doesn't happen overnight. So I'm going to give you four steps. If you use these four steps, they'll help you in that process of getting everything turned around. Number one, you got to set goals. And when I say set goals, remember goals got to be two things incremental and attainable. What I mean by incremental, that means you have to take certain steps to get to that point you want to be at. Attainable means it's realistic. What I mean by being realistic is that you just can't say, I want to save $100,000 in two months, and you know you're only making $20,000 a year. It ain't going to happen, okay? So make sure those two things happen. You set the goals, you know, two things are uh, the goals that they're incremental and they're attainable. Okay, number two, make some kind of plan of action. What do I mean by plan of action? That plan of action is a realistic plan that you can go about doing everything. So if you say, hey, I want to save $1,200 for the year, all you got to do is do what? Set aside $100 each month, and at the end of the year, you have $1,200. Whatever you want to do in terms of you have a debt payment, you want to allocate a certain amount each month to reduce that debt, that's what I mean by have some kind of plan of action, and you map that out over a certain amount of time. The third time, third thing, I'm sorry, is have those adjustment points. What I mean by adjustment points, that's things that you can do on a monthly, uh, quarterly, or yearly basis. Maybe even make it more incremental as uh, weekly or every other week where you're going by checking to see where you're adding your plan to see if you're on the right track. And the reason why we do this is not to quit or anything, but to make those adjustments because you have things pop up in this thing we call life where your check may be a little shorter this week, or you might got a little bit more money. So if it is shorter, that doesn't mean don't do it. That means maybe allocate a little bit less. You have a little extra money coming in, you may want to put a little bit more towards it. So those uh, uh, adjustment points help us to kind of, you know, move through those bumps in life so we don't just abruptly stop or they kind of like self-checking mechanisms where we may be ahead of the game or, you know, we can kind of make those different uh, actions to help accelerate our plan. Okay, number four, and this is the last thing, I, and I think this is the most important. Make sure you're mentally prepared for the journey. Far too often, people start on something, especially like beginning of the year with the New Year's resolutions. They're ready to make drastic changes with their life. You get a cat, they get a uh, tax refund, and ready to put everything in place. And three or four months into it, things aren't going as fast as they want to be, or something pops up and they get off track. What I mean by mentally being prepared, you have to stay focused, focused, focused. Be disciplined on the path you're going. Remember, remember that you did not get in that situation overnight. You're not going to get out of it overnight. So just be mentally prepared for the journey. It's not going to be something where you can go get your cash three or lottery ticket and you're out of it the next day. It's something that you're going to have to stay disciplined to and keep the focus on the goal that you want to make at hand. So again, guys, if you stick to those four or uh, those four tasks, I think that'll help you be in a better financial situation. Again, number one, set goals. Number two, make a realistic plan of action. Number four, have those adjustments. Number three, sorry, have those adjustments points set up. And number four, which is most importantly, be mentally prepared for the journey. Hey, again, I'm Deontay Burton, host of Change Your Lives. Make sure you go to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel, check out all the videos we have on there. A lot of great information dealing with business, finance, life, family, anything you want. We got a couple for you. And most importantly, make sure you hit that blue man in the bottom right-hand corner. Take care.